Uh, stop. Hopefully this is working. I wanted to do a a reply to uh, Brian Lunduk that he just did a some kind of post about bullying. Doesn't seem to be working so well, but whatever. Um, while I agree with that, a lot of stuff that he said is is not nice, not not nice, not nice stuff to be doing. Um, it's not bullying. Not everything he said there was bullying. And I think it's important to be precise in definitions, especially if you want to um, if you want to get rid of if you want to try and take care of a problem. So my definition of what I would say the bullying is is um, an abuse of a difference in power or status with the malicious intent of widening the gap. So what I think would be an obvious example is a, I I think it's probably the classic example, is a, um, is the the bigger kid picking on the smaller kid. So what's he doing? He has an obvious imbalance of power there because, oops, because the the smaller kid is weaker than him, but he is greatening the is widening the imbalance of power because he's making the smaller kid also frightened of him. So, so beating up a, a bigger kid, beating up on a smaller kid, or threatening him, that would be considered bullying. I would, but what what would not I would think be bullying would be two kids of the same size. Uh, that one hits the other, and he knows very well that the other one's probably going to hit him back. So that's a, that's not bullying. That's that's a fight. I'm not saying the fighting's good, but it's not bullying. Uh, another example would be uh, if you have one kid, or not even a kid, but somebody that is outside of a group, and so they're alone, and there's you know strength in numbers. So the the outside kid might get picked on and pushed out of the group even more. So they'll push the kid out of the group even more, make fun of him or whatever, so that the he he's not only by himself, but he's also by himself and he he's pushed down. So he's pushed they push him out. So they widen the gap. And so I, I said malicious intent. So there's things when there's an, they can imbalance of power and you want to widen that imbalance of power so that, or imbalance of status or whatever. So that can be competition. So competition is not bullying. So if if you have a business and I have a business and I want to uh, do better at my business and I want to make more money than you, that's not bullying. That's, that's competition. Now, it could be bullying if I used my... My superior status is a, I guess, say, say that I'm a much more successful business than you, or you're a much more successful business than me, or whatever. And I use that success and my power and my whatever to push you down and, and force you to close down. So that that would that would I would say would be an abuse of power. Um, so the why why I think it's important to be precise here. Is that if you want to take care of a problem, you need to know exactly what problem you're trying to take care of. So the, a lot of the other stuff he said this is just not being a nice guy. It's not being civil, which is not the same as bullying. So, uh, like for example, if I if I want to say something not nice to you, or uh, somebody says something to me anti-Semitic, which happens a lot, okay, it's not bullying. It's it's being a jerk. It's not being a nice guy. I'm not condoning it, but it's not bullying. It's not the same thing. There's not an imbalance of power, you know. Now, it could be if it comes to that I have 20 guys that are coming after me or, or the other way around. That would be bullying. Um, and so so why I think it's important that, that bullying probably needs more uh, more attention than these other types of uh, incivility, incivility, I don't know whether, whether the right word is in English, uh, is that there is an imbalance of power. And the, the person that's being bullied 
is going to have a hard enough time by themselves getting out of the uh, the predicament, you know, predicament or whatever whatever's going on to them. They're, they're, it's going to be hard for them to do it by themselves because there is an imbalance of power. They're going to need some way to to even the scales so that it can't happen anymore. Um, so that so bullying needs more help than somebody. You know, if somebody's just being a jerk, I mean, I can ignore them uh, or, or whatever. And it's not, and I don't really need somebody else's help to do that. Or, or if somebody wants to argue with me and tells me that, that my points are stupid and I have the, the, the intelligence to argue with them back, so that, that's not bullying. There's not an imbalanced power. I can argue with them and, and that's fine. Now, if there's a bunch of people that are arguing with me and I have a minority opinion and they're putting me down and not giving me a chance to defend myself, that would be bullying. Uh, and that would, you would need probably something to, uh, you would need some way to rectify the imbalance power there. Um, so I, I would say what Lunduk was talking about, I, I would kind of compare to, uh, to maybe something that will make more sense to his followers and maybe people are already watching my channel. Maybe you're going to unsubscribe after this foolishness, but kind of a, a premature optimization. So you're trying to get rid of all kinds of jerkiness, but there are certain types of jerkiness that isn't something that really needs, that you don't need to optimize for, that you don't need to take care of. So you're, you're we know if you're writing some code and you can waste a lot of time at the beginning and try and make it the, the most optimized code possible, but that's going to be a waste of time. It, it's much better if you can run a profiler and find out what is what is the thing that really needs our attention and, and specify and, and look at exactly what we need to fix. And that's where we need to invest our, our, our time. So I would say with bullying, we need to know exactly what is bullying, not be kind of floaty and say, well, bullying is anything not nice. That, that's not true. Anything not nice, you know, is, it, not all not nice things need somebody to come to their defense. It, it's going to happen when somebody is the, the, the imbalance of power is imbalance of power status or whatever. Uh, where somebody's forcefully keeping the other person down in the lower status, and they're not giving, they're doing whatever they can to keep them there. So that person is going to really have a hard time on their own getting out of it. Um, so what would be an example is, uh, well, everybody needs to take responsibility for themselves, I believe, but say that you have a kid uh, in class and he's acting out and it's gotten to the point in the class where all the other kids are picking on him for whatever reason and he's alone nobody's helping him you know that, there are certain things you need to talk to that that one kid or himself and say look you you need to stop acting out you need to try and uh figure out what's going on why what are you doing wrong that everybody dislikes you you know i i mean obviously don't put it to him like that but you need to say that you need to learn how to get along in society but at the same time he's going to be almost impossible for him to get out of that by himself if all the other kids are constantly picking on him. I mean, he's never going to be able to get out of that. So something has to be done. So whoever is uh, responsible in the classroom needs to say to the kids, you know, this is this is not acceptable. We, we need to try and help this kid uh, or whatever. So the I think the antidote to bullying is uh, anti-bullying. I would, I would call it. So, so somebody else who has more power than the bully has to step in and kind of reshift the balance of power. And th this doesn't, this doesn't in every imbalance of power. Some imbalances of power are good. I said that, I think I said at the beginning, uh, abuse of an imbalance of power. So an imbalance of power would be the police. You know, the police have guns and whatever other type of things they have. They can put you in jail. They have power that's given to them by the government. So as long as they're not abusing their power, this power is 
this imbalance of power is a good thing. This is something that they needed to control uh, uh, people that want to do do crime, criminals. That's the way. Uh, so you want an imbalance of power between criminals and police, now, as long as there's no abuse of that power going on. So sometimes, uh, so there's the same thing. Uh, like a teacher in the classroom, there should be an imbalance of power between the teacher and the students. So. But as long as, but we would expect that the teacher is not going to be the one abusing their power. It, it can happen. There are going to be bullying done by teachers. But uh, but the, in this case, I would say that the teacher should be using the imbalance of power that he has over the class to try and rectify the imbalance of power that the class has over the one student that's getting picked on. Uh, something else that he was talking about in the nerd community, if you, would, uh, you want to call it. So if you see that one person is being picked on by a group, uh, so people are, and we see that it's really bullying, that people are abusing their power. Like they're not, they're saying your opinion is stupid and we don't have to listen to you and they're not giving this person a chance to defend themselves or explain themselves. Now it can be that somebody holds a minority opinion and you, they they want to express it, so let them express it. But and you can disagree with it, but allow them to express themselves. Don't shut them down. Uh, the, it would be bullying, I would say, to shut them down because everybody else holds a majority opinion, and you're just shutting him down without considering his reasoning or or. Don't know what else. Um, what else? What was it? Where was it going with that? Um, oh, yeah. So if we see that if there's an imbalance of power like that, so so we need we need other people to step in. If we see that somebody's saying, "Well, you're just stupid. You don't know what you're talking about," so somebody else should come in and say, Look, "Hey, you, we might not agree with him, but uh, but people." have the right to voice their opinion. There's freedom of speech, or wherever, if, if your country has freedom of speech. So people should be allowed to say what they say. And if you want to have a respectful dialogue, you have to treat people with respect. So I think that so what would happen now is we would need other people to start bullying the bully. So the bullying the bully would be to reduce their status, I would say, in this, in this case. So they think that everybody is with them and that everybody agrees with them. And they're in the majority, and that's how they have they have more power over somebody who's in the minority of opinion. So the, he you would need to show to the bully here that he's not actually in the majority. Not everybody's with him. So even if you might agree with him, say, look, what you're doing, how you're handling this is not right. We're not with you. So he needs to be brought down a bit by kind of pushing him out and uh, reducing his status. So that's what I have to say on this. Um, Hopefully this wasn't too ridiculous, and I would be very happy to honored if Lunduk would want to discuss this with me in more, in more in person. And okay, call to.